We were confident as we approached the Laurel Fleet, even though they had twice our number of ships and four times our tonnage. Our Draxian observer was nervous. Won't they see us? Oh, they will see us all right, I grinned. Then I gave the order, activate area saturation. The wave front of drones the ESS Growler carried moved ahead of the fleet, spread out, and began emitting on every EM wavelength towards the enemy ships. Artificial gravity generators made a mash of signals to confuse grav sensors. We even had squawk boxes mixed in that would try to interface with enemy comms, either to hack systems if they were particularly stupid, the Laurel were not, sadly, or at least to disrupt ship-to-ship -ship communications. Aboard the Laurel flagship, Gruz was impatient. The humans will have to face us here. It is too important. We can cut off a third of their worlds if we hold this junction. And when they come, we will smash their navy and force them to accept our claims. Where are they? Sensors, report. Still nothing, sir, wait. What in the Visnu? Gruz could see it even from his command seat. A giant, for want of a better word, fuzz, had appeared on the sensors. Gruz watched the sensor operator try different sensors, different bands, but nothing worked. Gruz bellowed, Comms, contact the other ships. Someone must be able to see what is going on. Sir, we can't get through to anyone. There is so much noise. Our filters are trying, but it will take time to figure out the patterns or split out the false signals. Then the flagship shuddered as a railgun round struck the shields. Gruz knew there was no point returning fire. He would be firing blindly. He didn't know what he was facing. Ahead, full speed. Hopefully the escorts will understand and follow. The human fleet was smaller, both in size and number, but the enemy couldn't return fire. Yes, someone shouted as the first Laurel cruiser vented atmosphere and went dark. I would have to have my XO talk to that ensign later. I cursed as I saw the Laurel battleship move forward. If they got through the cloud, they would be able to see again. Their formation was gradually figuring it out, too. Concentrate all fire on that battleship. At first its shields were bright, but they grew dull and red as missiles and railgun rounds struck it. Then the shields failed. Before they could go dark, the concentrated fire of the human fleet ripped it to pieces. I felt bad. Normally you gave a ship whose shields failed a chance to go dark, cut all power except life support, as a sign of surrender. That battleship never had a chance. But if we were going to have a chance, they had four more battleships still moving towards us. I indicated one, concentrate fire on designated target. I ordered. When its shields were red, it changed heading, then went superluminal. I designated the next target, but soon after the remaining mobile Laurel ships followed it. And so... I ordered the drones back to their bays, and we sent boarding and relief parties to the four Laurel cruisers that went dark. A third of our tonnage captured and a battleship destroyed? The Growler had just evened the odds in this war.